Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode three of Neverwinter Nights Adventure Series number 15, Return to the Spine. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, I've been kind of experimenting off camera here. Um, I have the graphic stats on up there. So it turns out that the game is very CPU intensive because it only uses one core. And there's tricks to offset that by creating your own internet game. And uh, you can check out my stats and stuff up here. And um, different, you know, that way to... Uh, improve the FPS, but I tried it and it didn't work too well for me, so we're just going to have to deal a bit with choppiness in this heavily crowded area. But one of the reasons is because I have the HD pack installed. Check out these HD textures. Look at that shield. Look at that helmet. Look at... Just look. Everything is so beautiful. Wow. Look at that club. So I do have the Beamdog HD pack installed, and that's another reason why the FPS has been not ideal, and there's been a little bit of stuttering. But anyway, today's episode, um, we're pretty much set to go. I'd like to talk to the apothecary. Um, and see if maybe there's some potions we should grab. Potion of speed is only 420 from him. Um, we have 774. Uh, should probably have a lesser restoration potion. And, um,. Maybe a potion of clarity. Fortify the mind against mind affecting spells. Let's buy a potion of clarity. And uh, now we're ready to um, head down to the Undercity. Um, I don't remember. where the entrance to the Undercity was. Check out his mace too, very cool. Um, how do I get him to... i just like to talk a little. What should we do next? Go to the prison underneath... Beneath Mirror Bar in the Undercity's first below to question this half orc prisoner. Right, but I don't remember. Was it near the Scepter of Knowledge? Fletcher Sando. We don't need a Fletcher. We actually haven't been this way. What is that? The House of the Bright Blade. Um. I don't know what that is. But let's go ahead and check it out. There might be a quest or something in here. Yes, hello. What do you want, stranger? Um, nothing actually. Clothra Morger. What is this? Hello! Welcome to the House of the Bright Blade. Can I help you? What is this place? Why, tis the smithy and shop of Despara Alatha, the finest swordsmith in all of Faerun. Please examine our most excellent blades. Really? Oh, Katana plus three, I see. Rapier plus three. I 
I see. Okay, nothing we're particularly interested in. Oh. What happened? Game froze a little bit there. Um... Let's head and try to find this underground prison. Um, it was by the scepter of knowledge, I think. I don't remember where that's at. <laughs> I'm just going to look for an underground sort of opening. Let me see if I can ask around. Put your weapon away, you careless sod. Okay, let's um do that quick sod. Let's go ahead and put our weapon. There. Do you know the way? Spare a coin, friend. Guess so. Here's a gold piece. Thank you, kind of good, sir. Spare a coin, friend. I don't know where I'm going. Here's the... Is this the way? This gate leads to the first blow, it is. Cool. Oh, the first blow! Now this be a fine dwarven construction. Yes, Rogvad, this is some fine stonework. Aye, granted it is a city below a city. Your bar is quite a place, that's for sure. Sign. Obelisk. Let's go check out this sign. Sign Merchant District. Sign Guild District. Hmm. Prison ward. And what happens if we touch the obelisk? Obelisk, the first below. I'm actually kind of interested in the guild. Cannot pass. Best go speak to the Reeve. Hmm. 
Reeve like mountain. Hello, I'm the Reeve of the First Below. How can I help you? Greetings, I am Arden. What do you need, Arden? What exactly is the Reeve of the First Below? I'm the authority on this level of the Undercity. I'm in charge of security and general safety for the First Below, which is where you stand now. How do I get to the prison ward? Prison ward? Why do you need to go there? I wanted to talk to a prisoner, the one captured in the orc raid on the Blackford Road caravan. I'll need some credentials first. We don't just let folks waltz into the prison. I'm Arden Coldfist, a new estate owner outside Mirabar. Ah, yes, Arden Coldfist. I've heard of your good deeds against the corruption of Chancellor Geiger. Let me tell you, as a public servant myself, his actions were very troubling. Mirabar is in your debt, good sir. Can I question the prisoner now? I really shouldn't let you through just yet, seeing as the entire level's in lockdown, but maybe you'll do more good than harm. Why is the level in lockdown? There's been some trouble in the prison ward. The warden alerted me to seal off the exits. I think someone got loose on them, but no one has come past me. You still want to go in there? Absolutely. If a prisoner is loose, I'll do all I can to help. Which way do I go? It's a door right behind me. Here, I'll unlock it for you. Just be careful. Interesting. What? What do you want? I want to question a prisoner. You have to talk to the warden. Where is he? I really shouldn't let you through just yet. I have permission from the Reeve. You can ask him yourself if you don't believe me. All right, but keep your weapons ready, and don't say I didn't warn you. Hmm. Spell. What? You have to talk to the warden. Go on now. Thinking like you belong here at all. Not after that bit of foolishness. There's the warden. Warden's office. Ward is Mahoon. What do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? Who are you? I'm the warden of this prison. I'm having one hell of a day. What's going on down here? A prison break. What's it look like? It looks like the prisoners are dead now. Did any escape? I'm sure if you escape, but don't worry. My guards will track them down. Every last one. Now what do you need to make it quick? I want to talk to a prisoner, the one captured in the orc raid on the Blackford Road caravan. Ah, well, um, he's one of the ones that got away. What did you want to talk to him for? He's a tight-lipped bastard, that one. We're trying to find leads on the Ice Vein clan. Orc raiders from the Spine of the World were involved, and I heard your captive was leading some raiders from near the Spine, and that he was found with dwarven items in his possession. The Ice Vein clan, eh? I heard of that tragedy. Truly a shame. I had relatives that belonged to that clan. Bless their souls. Can you tell us about the dwarven items found on the prisoner? Is there anything to link them to the Ice Vein clan? No, unfortunately not. He didn't have anything identifiable as belonging to the Ice Vein clan. No markings or insignias on anything. Just some plain old dwarven ale and a basic axe. Well, he's still our best lead. I want 
I want to find out what he knows about the orcs in that region. Any information is better than what we've got now. Mind if we join in the manhunt? I'd rather you not. My men will surely corral him, and when they do, you can come back to question them. I don't encourage vigilantes, and I won't be responsible for your safety. Huh, do I have a taunt ability? Minus one. Well, I still want to help. I'll try to stay out of your men's way, though. I'd strongly recommend you leave the tracking to us. You'll not be receiving any bounty from me, even if you do find them. Now be on your way. I've got a big mess to clean up here. Goodbye, warden. Check out the warden. Looking very good. HD models and all. Um. So do I just join in the manhunt? Door cannot be open without the correct key. Watch over the flying frogs! Ah! Oh, tracks. Dirty footprints look to have left by a humanoid creature larger than a common man. We find that on the ground there. Why can't I move? In and trap door. I can't move. I can't move. There we go. All right. Um. Cool. So let's head on down. The sewers. Dire spider. Oh, snap. Can I get a heal here? Oh, because of the song, I have that increased. Um, yes. Summon your animal companion, please. I guess you don't have an animal companion.
Looks to have been left by a large humanoid creature. Oh dear. Alright, let's save and see if a rest will cure this. Did. Oh dear. That looks a bit dangerous. Escape prisoners. Dazed. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of them. Yes, cleaving and killing, cleaving, dazing. Feel free to kill him. So he left it to me. Point of gold, another grease spell, and a hand axe. Fenelope and a light hammer. Hmm. We come upon a door. Bandit Rogue. Let's try coming down this way. Wraith Spider. dangerous with all that green smoke there, green poison clouds. Let's um, head down this way. Let's go get that bandit mage. Oh dear, fireball incoming. Oh dear. Half orc bandit. Get this half orc bandit. Shows badly wounded. But we hung in there. Choice sword plus one. That was the bandit leader, I think, right here, no? Or was that the short sword plus one? Loot bag. Rogue's bag. Let's check out the loot bag. Oh. Let's see, we've got antidote, negative energy burst, dagger, 
Thieves Souls Plus One, Copper Ring, a piece of gold, and Ice Vein Diary. Now I want that loot bag. Lesser Restore, Ale, a skin, Quartz Crystal, Gold Piece. Hmm, an ice, large empty crate. Let's go ahead and bash these. do about this door unlock door cannot be opened without the correct key there's a chest back there oh I didn't check if this has a page two no. Uh, the correct key. There's no more remains. Um, we can continue going. Let's go ahead and rest. Check out this Ice Clan, Ice Vein Clan Diary. <sighs> this tome is marked as the personal journal, journal of Dernick Frosthammer, a member of the Ice Vein Clan. Early passages describe the young dwarf's tutelage and apprenticeship as a metalsmith. The entries turn dark and foreboding as young Dernick describes the fear and frustration of the sudden attack on the Ice Vein stronghold. The dwarf describes in horrific detail the savage battles fought and eventually lost to the orc, Duragar, and frost giant raiders. The last few pages describe Dernick's life as a captive and a dire indeed. The following passage strikes you as especially ominous. Trapped like rats and treated even worse. I don't know how much longer we can survive under the harsh conditions these bloody orcs keep us in. It seems every day we lose another member to illness or to their batter wounds. Why these blasted orcs even bother to keep us alive when all we when we all hover so close to death is beyond me. I pray to Dumathoin it will all end soon one way or another. It strikes you as odd that you would find this journal in the possession of these bandits. And let's check out Mirabar. The Greystone city of Mirabar is surrounded by shafts, quarries, and taluses. Across the river to the west and south of the city, dead and bloated mines are used to store buildings, stone, and rubble to shore up the ever-crumbling gravel roads that carry Mirabar's metal wealth, forged metal bars, fine gems, and metalwork south to the rest of Faerun. Mirabar is a city of hard work with a grim, no-nonsense manner. It has a heart of gold where natives to the city and the surrounding area break their own back to help a neighbor. The side of this rough gem of the north is never seen by the common visitor, for travelers, travelers usually have a mindset that puts the average mirror baron at ill ease. Come to Mirror Bar with an open mind and a kind, understanding heart, and you see the heart of gold that's shared by all mirror barons. The city's protective walls are set in constant concentric rings, so besieged defenders can fall back from the outer wall without leaving the city unprotected. The walls are thick and sloped, allowing defenders to fire arrows down the sides or pour water on them to make ice slides in winter. In the center of town is a walled garden that helps keep Mirabar less dependent on imported food. The area features well shafts, bringing water from the underdark, water warmed by the heart of the depths, the heat of the depths. Hmm. Okay. All 
way, stay away from the poison. Eh? Hidden wall door. This is the way we came down. This is the way we came down. Journal. We killed the half orc. Start looking for the escaped half orc and make sure we scout the prison for clues. Is there something that we missed back here? I mean, yeah, that door is troubling. Can we bash it down? Weapon ineffective. Again, we've got damage. Didn't we kill the half orc? Down here was a wraith spider and a dead end. Face spider. We need to go down this way, so... Love that day thing. <laughs> Beautiful. So we haven't been down this way. Uh. Okay, that works. Sword spider. Ooh. 
Oof. Rip you to shreds. Look at the HD. Oh. Okay. Rest. Guess we're getting this ability damage from the poison. Is that a trap here? Or is that just red steps? No, that's a trap. Something's trying to keep us out of here. Um, see how long we've been playing 36 minutes uh, let's go in slum house head ah. straight into the wall then stop good at this sort of thing. Yes. Um, discuss your training. Keep your current class training. Why don't you practice your thieving ways any longer? Seeing my clan destroyed changed me for the better, I hope. I've left behind my thieving ways to focus solely on my clerical studies. I serve Dumathoin now without any distractions. I only hope it helps me find my clan. Sounds like a wise decision. I wish you luck. Thank you, Master Arden. Your support means a lot to me. Aha, there's the hidden wall door. All right, so we're going to save here. And um, <clears throat> call it episode three. Next time we'll head through the hidden wall door and see where these tracks lead. Apparently we haven't killed the half-orc we're looking for, just a random half-orc bandit, not the half-orc prisoner. Hope you're enjoying so far. Very cool module, I think. Um, thank you for watching and commenting and all that good stuff. Much love, peace, and joy, and I'll catch you in the next episode, guys. Take care.